Hi, I'm Scott Flowers with Cloud Ninjas. Today we're going to continue our series on the HPE ProLiant DL360 Gen 9 server. In this video, we're going to specifically focus on how to rack your DL360 Gen 9. Let's get going. Well, hey, thanks for stopping by today to learn a little bit more about the HPE ProLiant DL360 Gen 9 server. Do us a favor, if you find anything in this video useful, Click that like and smash that subscribe. All right, I'll top in. Uh, this video is going to be an overall pretty quick video. Uh, we're going to show you how to put your server into a rack, right? So we have some sliding rails here. We're going to show you how to put the rails into the rack and then how to put the server into the rails. We are not doing cable management in this video. It's just going to be more focused on how to physically put the server into the rack. And then we'll show you how to actually take it out in case yours is stuck. So we'll just show you all those steps as a whole. Let's get going. All right, so now we're going to take our DL360 Gen 9 and actually put it into the rack. So we're going to start uh, with our left rail. So uh, you're not going to be able to see it on camera, but right here it says front left. So we're going to make sure that's facing up. I have uh, Angel in the back. It's going to help me. It's a lot easier when you have two people. Uh, Angel, let's put it into nine. And essentially, there's just two uh, prongs on these that you just line up and they literally just click into place. So I'm gonna go ahead and line them up into nine right here. And then you just push them in. And once you push them in, they're just gonna lock into place. And you can see that the rail kit is physically locked. Now the inners will come out of course, but the actual kit is locked into place. Now if I want to remove it, the design's not quite as good as Dell's in my opinion because you actually need to come on the inside of the rail itself and there's a clip that you're going to push in so I'm going to go ahead and push this in and when you push that in the actual rails will pop off and you can see that the rail is off itself right now and again I'll just push these two prongs back in and lock it into place and now it again it's locked into place but as far as taking it off it's kind of a pain because you do have to go to the inside of the rail back here okay so now we're going to go ahead and put on the right side all right, so now we're going to do the right rail kit. So you want the part that says front R facing up and towards the front. So again, we're going to do nine angel. And so again, it's just two little pegs that are just going to pop in. And you can see it's fully inserted and that the inners will come out. So now we're going to show you the inners and how to actually put the server inside. All right, so now we're going to pull the inners out. And there's technically two inners, so you'll see two sets come out and then we're going to put our server in and we'll show you on the side of the server there's four rivets that you actually are going to line up holes with uh, our rails so let's go ahead and take our inners out so there's two inners and we'll take this one out as well and one thing to note is that when you want to put your inners back in there's a blue button you push on the side and that'll allow you to actually slide it back in so Andrew go ahead and come down and let's show the rivets real quick so do you see the four rivets we point at them for me Angel so that's what we're going to line up. So we like to start with the back ones first. I'm going to switch my hand around real quick. Okay. So we line the back ones up. And then once you have the back two in, you can almost just set it down into the other ones and just make sure that it is lined up properly with your rails. And they just click into place. Here's all of them. All right. So as I said, it's locked into place. So if we want to push it back in, we're actually going to have to uh, push the blue buttons on the side. So let's go ahead and push the blue buttons, Angel. And this will just slide into place. Now it's locked into place here. Now if you wanted to take your uh, server and pull it out so that you can work on it, right here you have your two clips that you pull down and you can physically pull this back out. So that's how you would actually work on your server or at least pull it out. So thanks for stopping by to learn a little bit more about how to rack your HPE DL 360 Gen 9 server. Do us a favor, if you're looking for any custom built servers, Dell, HPE, Supermicro, IBM, Cisco, we'd love the opportunity to earn your data center's business or your home lab's business. Please email us at sales at cloudengines.com. That's sales at cloudengines.com. Thanks for stopping by. Take care, guys.